Hello, I'm Sammy L, and today I've uh, decided I'm going to film myself speaking into the camera. Before the sun goes down here, I'm getting this video started. Here we are. Oh, there's like trees and stuff. Today I'm going to build a instrument. I've noticed I've gotten uh, a few new followers, kind of steadily people are coming to my channel, which is cool, so I want to say hi to you. It's gonna get dark real soon, so I wanted to just start the video with a kind of daytime scene. Okay, so I'm home now, and I'm going to show you the piece of gear that I'm going to be working on today. Let's get it out of the bag. This thing is my foot, the foot snapper. It makes this kind of sound. I need to, uh, I don't know, I need to do something with this to make it better. So I'm gonna go to the workshop right now and uh, make it. That was kind of a sidetrack mission. I'm uh, making these uh, castanets, wooden castanets here. And I tried to put this like uh, keychain thing in between them so that it can kind of rattle. And I suppose there's various ways that I can try to tie this better. I should look into actual castanets and see how they're actually strung up. But I'm pretty sure it's usually just two holes and a little clam shell thing which you can clap together. Well this is a start it's something. I suppose there are many permeations of this type of thing that can be done using the just you could all them together and just make a big rattling machine, a woody rattle. What I want to work on today is this. So normally I'm playing it with my feet, but you can see how it works. So what do I want to do? So I have this like, this is to give it some bounce, and the uh, it was just by chance it happens to be this way, but this piece of wood is also kind of lopsided or it's not it's not 100% straight on the bottom it's got an angle to it somehow so that gives it more bounce and this is the thing that's making all the sounds so I'm trying to think of how I can stabilize this thing so it's actually instead of hitting the ground it's hitting another piece of wood and doing this so instead of just hitting the ground It'll hit this thing that's on the ground. And I think that will just kind of uh, round out the tone of here. So we're kind of going for like a snare drum sound, but it's not really a snare drum. It's more like a snap. But if I can get a piece of wood, kind of like what I did here with these things, 
make it a little bit hollowed out. And I think this would have a really nice tone when you smack into it. I could just use this piece of wood and I could kind of level it down here so there's less of an angle here. So it's kind of like a slope. And I could uh, somehow affix this thing onto here so it's not gonna move. And then um, I can rest my foot here. And that will not really make any much of a sound, but when I hit it here, this is the sweet spot. I hope to get a nice round snare drummy sound. Now the ideal thing I was thinking was like, there are a lot of wooden drums out there, like the cajon, and I can kind of emulate that on a small scale, but this thing, this thing has a great sound. Uh, I'm catching the sound of the strings here, but we're also getting the sound of the box. Alright, so I'm on the street right now and it's kind of dark out here. Two days have passed since the last video I shot. There's people walking around and stuff. I'm kind of sitting in this like thing. I don't know what the hell it is. While I was shooting that last video, my phone ran out of storage memory capacity. And it, I didn't have my little tripod thing with me, so it kept falling, and it just I just kept screwing up over and over. But I got some footage, so I didn't get to shoot the whole thing. But here we are outside right now, and uh, here is the finished product. There you go. Here's the final product. Bing, 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 bing. So. It's, uh, it's got this slope here, which is nice. It rests on the ground. My foot rests on this um, here. So when I wanna play it, I'm gonna attack with my foot right here. You see how it bounces. And this is, uh, yeah, it was like a paint can. So this is the lid of it, and then I had folded it in half and I put a hole in it, hole in it and you can see that it's being held on with a screw there. It's kind of squishing it. I wish it would have um, inflated a bit more because it's not making all that much. It should be rattling a bit more. I might have to take that out and kind of like expand, like open it out a little bit because it got pancakes shut and the stuff in there isn't moving, like it needs to shake. So, but I mean, it still sounds kind of like snappy, how I like it. So, and then I put this uh, duct tape on the bottom with some sticky parts facing up so that it doesn't slide around, which actually really helps because I hate it when this thing slides around and I have to move it with my foot. It really screws me up when I'm playing. This thing is being held on by this piece of wood that's screwed into here. This is being held on by these two, uh, this is wire going through a hole that's twisted through here because uh, if it was a screw, it wouldn't be able to move like this. So I need something kind of hingy. And um, I, I shaved out the bottom here so that this screw to, or this wire doesn't get frayed out and snap from me stepping on it. So like, you know, all the friction and whatnot. Same on this side. If it does break, whatever, I can just put a new wire on it. And I'm thinking about putting some kind of maybe cloth on the bottom so that I can mute the sound from the floor, mute the sound of the floor, and only get this sound. So no matter where I'm playing, it will pretty much sound the same. Yeah, so I did that. Um, I'll make more stuff and maybe shoot more videos, maybe not with so much talking. And next thing I want to work on is this uh, stomp box here. I'm gonna get an angle on it. There's a stomp box. And it's kind of in rough shape and I need to make it stable just in the same way I made the other thing stable. I need to put a base on it so that, as in like a, a board underneath that it can bounce on because depending on the ground that I'm playing on, there's all kinds of variations of bounce that it gets and it doesn't kick the way I like it to. So it's another project for the future. Yes. 
Yeah.